Alright, well welcome back to Pokemon. Welcome back to ruining these restaurant patrons' day, I guess. I get it, you have a blackout, you won't let me go. And you're missing a key. Which you need rock climb in order to get, I believe. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go back up here and fight those trainers I skipped. And also see what I can encounter over here. Just Hopefully good things. Just because, why not? I can get a Zatu? I would absolutely get a Zatu, but I don't think it's as important on your team as it would be mine. No, it really isn't. Oh, why, why didn't I Shadow Punch? What am I thinking? Oh. This will probably also work. <laughs> Zatu are not exactly defensive. But they're cool. They're fun. I really like that line. Ah, uh, come on. What else can I fight? Golem! Wow. Okay, then. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Well so, Butterball wants to learn counter. Hmm. That's actually tempting. What's really interesting is Butterball also used to know Mirror Coat, so I could turn Butterball into a better Wobbuffet. I think Butterball just wants to be a Wobbuffet. I'm not gonna lie. Also, those, uh... What do I have on here again? That Golem did not give nearly as much XP as I felt like it should've. That's kind of disappointing, actually. I bet there's gonna be an item in that open space of grass. Preschooler Forest? You're still in preschool. Maybe you should spend less time in practicing your psychic powers and more I time studying. This is a really hard choice. I mean, I wouldn't get it personally because Butterball's whole thing is he doesn't take damage and counter just deals back double damage. Yeah. If anything, Mirror Coat would actually probably have been the better one. Because he's not as defensive uh, special. No, he's super defensive on both ends. Oh, uh, fair. It's... I'll keep him for now, but I'll... I'll keep it in mind that it's an... Op well, no, it won't be an option much longer when he evolves, actually. So, what, what am I saying? Mm, fair. Oh, and Bones a lot's trying to learn a move, too, that I'm not giving him. Because it's Teeter Dance. Hey, you can guarantee confuse things. Doesn't that also confuse you in the process? No. It just confuses your opponent. It's just normal type confuse, right? Confuses all the Pokemon in battle. Huh. I'm pretty sh I No, I'm reading the description right now. Yeah, I don't think it... I really didn't think it confuses you. Because I remember Teeter Dance being used a lot. Like, Teeter Dance is Gen 3's uh, normal type. Uh, I mean, mind gym. you, Teeter Dance is not the best fit for a Slaw King anyways. <laughs> no, he's not exactly a dancer. Uh, it's Spinda's signature. Right. And I'm pretty sure it just confuses the opponent. But yeah. It's just a confusion move, but I guess something worth thinking on, question mark? Yeah. Some weird choices. Oh, he's glaring at me. Now he cut my speed. And he has muddy water. Alright, fair enough. Lunatone, actually being useful for the first time ever. They're not that bad. Eh, they're pretty bad. <laughs> I wanted Lunatone and Soul Rock to be better. They're not that great. <laughs> hey, Zogru to level 30. Nice. <gasps> and he's evolving! Oh? Into a slow boy! <laughs> Okay, he was already slow. But can hold its own a lot better. Oh yeah, gonna have way more defense now. He evolved into a Pupitar. Nice. What ability does it have? 
I will have to see. Is it going to make you hate life for the next little bit of time? I also want to get rid of... Oh, do I not have anything? I have a full heal. Okay. We're going to get rid of that paralysis. Because I don't want to deal with it. I still have more things to take out. Alright, Zog. What do you got now? Oh, Synchronize. That's a good one. That is a good one. And all of his stats have just gone up. I love it. <laughs> I mean, ideally. I I mean, yes, ideally that's what would happen. Also, but, when, but when you're in a cocoon, you wouldn't think that your speed would have also increased. <laughs> fair point. Uh, I would double check your TMs for him. Mm, fair. Although there's still not a whole lot here that I would want him to learn. No. This is all... Well, I can see if he can learn Quench now. Uh, no. Nope. No, he still can't. He won't be able to until he evolves, probably. Chatter is special. Yeah, pretty much everything else is special. Maybe Spark? That wouldn't be bad. That would be good coverage. And he can learn it. That would be good coverage. Is there anything worth removing for it? That's what I'm going to find out. Uh, his Poison Fang, Flame Wheel, Poison Fang. That would be the thing to get rid of. I guess. Spatial Rend is actually viable, considering his special attack is not terrible. It's just not as good. Right. Um, yeah, Poison Fang. Well, that was a fairly uneventful restaurant. They all had shit for Pokemon. Flame Wheel does everything that I'd want Poison Fang to do. How's it going? You do anything? You have a Pokedex! Yes! No. Yes, I do. I know, he got way too excited about that. And you have a Wobbuffet that I'm going to Shadow Punch. I'm going to throw some shade at it. <laughs> Make him regret his choices. Make him regret being born. Oh. Joke's on you, he does anyway. Oh, this thing has so much health. And he's got a hammer arm. Don't appreciate that. Oh, that's not actually bad at all. I'd really like to replace Iron Tail. I want a fighting type move. That's what I really want. Hey, you except, and me both, buddy. Except one that isn't low priority. Yeah. I already have a TM for a fighting type move, but it's low priority. Yeah. I have superpower and hammer arm that nobody can learn. I know how you feel, buddy. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, a fighting type move does everything a steel type move does. Just better. I basically. Mean, steel is a really bad type for uh, aggressive. Yeah. Uh... You know what? Yes. I can send out Zog to fight you. Because Zog has Flame Wheel. I'm going to throw this cocoon at your bay leaf. You know how stupid my stats are going to get once Butterball evolves? Yeah, he's going to become a legendary. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I was thinking uh, Bones a lot. But no, still. I'm talking about the defense. But still... Uh, swimming in Monferno, I believe, so we're just gonna send Bugsius. A lot of things here have Monferno in my game. Weird. I mean, it's the right generation for it. Yeah. It's just an odd choice. And I don't really have any... S well, I know... Oh, of course he dove underwater. <laughs> Which means I'm going to get hit, and he's not going to get hit. Do I bank on him using dive again, or bank on him not using dive again? I'm going to bank on him not using it again. As long as he doesn't use dive, I'll take him out in one hit. Yep, use assist, okay. Use I guess you're fine. There we go. This should do it. I'm so close. <laughs> The real tragedy is, 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no, that's not Dragon... Dragon Breath is fine. Dragon Rage is the one I'm angry about. No. The difference being, Dragon Breath does two damage to me, whereas Dragon Rage does 40. Yeah. Yeah. That's a... It's a bit of a difference. Ooh, a ranger. <coughs> With a corefish. A lot of things also have corefish. I mean, maybe it's a sign that you should also be using one. Or maybe it's a sign that you should be putting it in the box. Yeah... I'm not terribly thrilled with my core fish. It only has special moves. Hmm. And it's a physical attacker. Yeah. I am one level away for Butterball. Go ahead and send out a Shellos. I think I'm actually going to take a turn here to just use Synthesize, because I don't think this Shellos is going to have anything too dangerous. I think the game just rounded up for damage, so it could do one point of damage to me. Oof. Yeah, like, I remember in the early generations of Pokemon, they didn't have that roundup. Oh, that's tragic. Quick Attack was a critical hit. It did one damage. Oof. Yeah, like, I remember, I think it was in both Gen 1 and 2, I know it was at least in Gen 1, mm -hmm. um, where your attacks could actually do zero damage. And if it was calculated to do zero damage, then it just said, uh, but the attack failed, or the attack missed. Yeah. Um, that's no longer a thing in Pokemon, if I if I understand correctly. I'm pretty sure every attack will at least do one damage. Yeah. As I long don't as it know actually hits. which generation it started that. Was it Generation 2 or 3 that fixed that? I'm not sure which one it was. It was one of the two. Yeah. Gen 2 fixed a lot of things from Gen 1, but still had quite a number of... <laughs> Eccentricities, shall we, shall we say. <laughs> it did a better job, though. It did its best. I have a lot of fond memories of Gen 2. I mean, Gen 2, Crystal was my favorite Pokemon game for decades. Like, literally a decade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never got really into a Pokemon game since Crystal until I want to say Gen 6. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, Gen 6. I mean, 2 and 3 are the winners for me. Yeah? Like, I really enjoyed 3, but I would still prefer to go back and play... Uh, oh, I can fight Spinda here. Speaking of teeter dance. Speaking of teeter dancing. Alright, that's cute. Um, just gonna close combat you. He has Miracle Eye. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Oh, it identified me. Okay. It's just an identification move. Congratulations. Spenda now has confirmed you are, in fact, a combustion. Spenda has confirmed that I am going to karate chop its little face off. Poor thing. At least it still has the gimmick of unique spots. Yeah, that was always fun. Gen 3 had a lot of gimmick Pokemon. Uh, a lot of gimmick. Yeah. Nobody mm. can go to the lake. Can I please fucking get to the clock? I see uh. issues with this matchup. Well, I see potential issues with this matchup. Oh? It's a Bronzor. Side note, if I ever find a Bronzor, it's on the team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just used Frenzy Plant on me. Also, I just really like that line. Eh, it's a pretty fun one. Oh, I have double battles. Okay. Cool. That'll work. I can double battle these things. I should probably switch in Bugsius instead of Nomster, but whatever. Eh, that one's less ideal. Frenzy Plant and Fury Cutter. Cross Chop and Iron Tail, I guess. Yeah, are you in the restaurant right now? Yeah. Yeah, just about everyone in the restaurant was pretty disappointing for me and what they had. Very little experience to be had. Mm. Oh, but then all of a sudden, a wild, or not a wild, but the fisher sent out a feraligator on me. Oof. 
That'll be good. So, it's maybe that makes up for it. It is aggressively dancing at me. <laughs> oh, Skull Bash. That makes more sense. Aggressive dance. The most aggressive dance. It's head bashing. Yeah, that's acceptable. You know what's sad when a rock smash works to take something out? Yeah. You know it's sad when a Feraligator Skull bashes you for three damage. Yeah. Ooh, a tentacle. I could go for one of those right about now. Yeah, tentacle is neat. I don't have anything that's going to be particularly good here. So, no, don't do that. Shadow Punch. <laughs> Probably gonna take both of these guys to actually take them out. Oh, just about, yeah. There we go. I wonder if for alligator is enough experience for me to evolve. That has to be worth something half decent, right? It's final form, I feel like it should be. Let's see, fourteen eighty five. Yeah, it was enough. Nice. Let's see if I'm really sad. <laughs> Are we feeling sad? Find out now. What's its ability gonna be? I mean, if he comes true in. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. <laughs> All right, Butterball is Super Ball now. Super Butter. And oh. Game. Quit teasing me. It's trying to learn Mega Drain when it already has Giga Drain. <laughs> this line is just really trying to kick me in the teeth, huh? With it, some of its options. It's doing its best. <laughs> and its best is apparently uh, special moves. Eh, the new the ability is pretty neutral. It's Shadow Tag. Ah, Pre yeah, prevents Bo from escaping, which, I mean... I guess that's not that's, terrible. It's it can not... be potentially relevant for some uh, yeah. trainers. Just means they can't switch out against you. Right. Which I don't think the AI ever does anymore anyway. Yes, so. they do. Only the advanced AI. Like Elite Four and Ace Trainers and yeah. shit like Fair. that. I mean, it can potentially be relevant. Let's of course, this also means that Butterball has had its time to shine. Now, let's see if I can get a Slocking today. Hey! And be really sad on that one, potentially. Swablu has Aqua Jet. That's pretty neat. Could be fun. If I encounter a Swablu, I'll probably catch one. I, I probably won't use it. Uh, yeah. But I'll catch one to keep it in reserves, because I really like it. Uh, that line. It's really fun. <laughs> so I grew the 31. Just keep growing, baby. You're gonna be my clincher. Oh. A Shedinja, you say? Well. It does confirm to have... Oh, no! <laughs> do you have anything that's actually usable against I it? I do, but then I just realized Bones a lot traced its Wonder Guard. Oh! Well, that's neat. I don't think Shedinja can do anything anymore. You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I do because I just bounced it. Oh. Well, and it fair. was the only Pokemon on that team, so... Alright, so... Oh, Rotom and Steel. And a Seal. That's cute. Well, time to thief thieve from it. And... Poison Tail. Huh. Fuck it. Close combat. That might not be the worst. Poison Tail's okay. Poison type is not exactly a strong attacking type. Yeah, it's only 50 attack. What do you mean it didn't take out the seal? Anyone oh, that's it? right. Seal isn't no ice type about. yet. And yes, Rotom has Brave Bird. No, I'm pretty sure seal is just water type. Because that was not 
Oh. A super effective. What do you use? I used close combat. Oh. <laughs> and it didn't kill it. That's why I'm fairly certain <laughs> that it's not death, that it's uh, just water type. I always forget that. I always think it's water ice. No. Well, I'll just rock smash it. And I guess I'll ice fang the roto. Oh, that's disappointing. Wild lombres. Well. Well. Hmm. To be fair, I encountered wild gibble, and uh. Or yeah, I could be the cool guy and get a wild shuckle. You know, shuckle. Don't shuckle is a strong game. Uh. With the right move set, <laughs> Shuckle is impossible. <laughs> Shuckle has flash fire for its ability. That's amazing, honestly. That uh, makes it so it's no longer weak to fire moves, which is one of the few things that it was weak to. I'll catch it to see what it has to offer. I'm going to leave this place and heal, and then fight these other two sets of trainers. I'm not super impressed with Vine Whip. All you have to do is, uh, get Leech Seed on it. <laughs> Focus Blast, so, sure. You can have another defense, boy! Don't tempt me. <laughs> You'll just have a team of tank. No one will be able to defeat you. I do like tank. Tanking all the time. In this institution. I will catch it just to see what it has to offer. It has... I'm curious, at least. Alright. see what we got going here. Now that's a team I can get behind. <laughs> Slowpoke and Natu? Hell yeah. Uh, so I'll just steal from the Natu... But not to his steel type. And power whip the slow poke. There we go. That'll work. And I missed. Of course I did. Alright. And Thief didn't even take it out. Of course not. <sighs> At least it's just dragon clawing me with its terrible attack stat. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do have to give it a nickname whether I use it or not. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, you do. I gotta name it Fuckle. Don't fuckle with the shuckle. Uh, you know, you're f fair. Fair enough. E power up that slow poke. There we go. That's what I like to see. Especially a, uh, especially a shuckle with flash fire, because that's stupid. That is stupid. That's amazing. Didn't have the world's greatest moves to it, but still. But it can learn. <laughs> it can learn. And I will check. Oh, and a snover. That's cute. Ice grass. I would use one of those. I'll Maybe snover also has flash fire. I'll smash that would be rocks. fantastic. And and close you. combat. Not really, because it has a thousand other weaknesses, but... Yeah, not really, because I have zero fire type moves on my team. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I have uh, flame wheel. That's right. But that's okay, because I can just punch it to death instead. Oh, yay. A gulpin. With blaze. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I saw three things in this grass. I'm, I'm satisfied. Also, I did identify uh, when I was doing uh, stuff off screen to get my like, heart scales and whatnot. Uh, I did identify that I have a razor claw or Razor Fang, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I have the one for Sneasel. Okay, and I have the one for... Uh, Not Sneasel. Uh, Gliscor. Yeah, so if I find a Sneasel, I'm going to get myself a Weavile, because Weavile is just really fun. Also a physical attacker. I'm just going to be full of physical attackers. <laughs> but that's okay. That is Okay. I can't in good faith call Bastiodon a physical or a special attacker. It is just a tank. Yeah. Uh, so with that in mind, I have one physical and two special. 
So I can really go either way. I would really like to catch a special attacker water type. That's what I really want. Oops. Because all of the good water type moves are special type. Yeah. <laughs> so having a physical water type is kind of shit. How kind of fuckle. It had an ether on it. Oh, nice. Oh my god, Ooh. those stats. A smeargle. Alright, uh, let's try cross-chopping the bronze ore. Fuck it, more close combat. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I can cheese this. If Fucko learns a single insta-kill move, it has Mind Reader. Ooh. And it'll survive hits to be able to do that combo. At level 22, it already has over 100 points in defense and special defense, so... Alright, well there goes that one. I'll at least check out what's going on with the Shuckle. Oh, there goes Bugsius. What about you, Sandshrew? On sort of flamethrower. Scrappy, eh. Oh, sure it is. Eh. Now I can actually shadow punch this thing. Well, Sandshrew has things. Nothing super great. Eh. It's pretty whatever. Uh, Steel Psychic is so annoying to deal with. <laughs> Alright, let's see what fun shenanigans Shuckle can do. Do I have any TMs that can make it fun? There. Pretty sure this is Ooh. the last battle in this place. Damn. That would have been funny. Teaching Endeavor to Shuckle. <laughs> Couldn't learn it, though. Huh, and a Pineco is his final Pokemon. Okay. Uh, none of my TMs are especially great for it. Fuck it, Hydro Cannon. And Iron Tail, I guess. Pineco, I don't believe, is terribly strong in special defense. Gym Leader. Wait, what? Where's it going? Was the move remember in the Poke Center? He's in a house. In a house? They're pretty much always in a house. Okay. He's off to the right side from the uh, right side and a little bit to the below the Pokemon Center. Alright, finally took these guys out. Alright, so that does it for this town. Go heal up and actually start progressing again. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have available. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Vigoroth can learn extreme speed. Oh, that's real good. I don't, I don't feel strong enough towards it to put a heart scale towards it, though. Let's check it. And I got an armor fossil. Fun. Well, you just have the fossil run going, huh? I'm gonna wait until I get to the next town so I can fly between the towns, but I guess I'll go and see what the armor fossil will give me too. Hmm. Ooh. That's right, Sableye has Drought. Bastiodon has some interesting choices behind it. Light Screen, Psycho Cut, Dynamic Punch, Dragon Claw, Magnitude, High Jump Kick, Sheer Cold. So far out of all of those, the only one I've heard that sounds at all useful is uh, Dragon Claw. Yeah, but Sheer Cold. I mean, I'll have the turns to try and pull it off. Yeah, but unfortunately, you, it's not Shuffle that's trying to learn it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, 
Nothing super great on Magneton, so I'll I feel okay evolving it. <laughs> All right. And we should probably head on off to our next episode. But the heart scaling. <laughs> well, we'll have to see what you can do. Well, actually, no. We'll just let you do your heart scale fun, and then we'll go to the next episode. Right now, the answer is I'm not. <laughs>